Welcome to my very first Unity package showcase where I showcase my very own Unity package that I've been building over the years. So this is the very first version of that package that will be available to download in the video description down below. And in the start you get all these cars for free. And I want to make it very clear you cannot use these cars for commercial purposes. So what I have in here is the very basic car controller with the drive types, obviously. You have the torque, you have the maximum and minimum RPMs. This is very important, the torque curve. And uh, what this does is basically it defines the very peak performance for your vehicle. You have the gears, you have the final drive, you have the gear num, which should be set to 1. You have the smooth time, so how fast your engine will rev. You have the velocity and you have the g-force. So this just measures the g-force that your car produces. Then you have the inputs, very simple. You have the wheels manager. This is basically controlling how much slip you want for your wheels. And you have the tire grip, how much grip you want for your wheels. This is the anterior roll bar. It's very self-explanatory. And this is basically the whole entire package. The cool thing about this is that I made a vehicle modifier in here. So this is the party piece of this whole Unity package. Okay, so a very quick introduction of this car editor script is like this. So when you bring your brand new vehicle into your scene, it's going to look something like this. It's going to have only one wheel and it's going to have no structure in it so what this is going to help you make is cars oversimplified so what we have in here is just a car with no wheels so let's add that before we add that we want to make sure that the blue arrow is facing the forward direction of our car so in order to change that we could just do this which is wrong because now this is facing that direction and if we go into local we're going to see it's facing the wrong direction. So what we're going to do is select the child object and just rotate that 180. So now if the parent object is facing that way, we're good to go. Next thing, we're going to need a wheel. So here is our wheel. We're just going to unparent it and we're going to make sure that this wheel has one in here and it's completely reset. So now if we take a look at the wheel, we're going to see it's a little bit small. And we can just increase that to 100 and we want to make sure that these are set to zero that's all we have to do now all we have to do is just take this wheel and make it into a prefab somewhere in here i have already made that here is my wheel as a prefab we can now just duplicate this wheel so what we're going to do right now is take this and put it into the car slot right here after we do that, we're going to see some new options appear. So what this is, is when the car has a different type of wheel into the rear. For now, we just want to use the one wheel. So just drag, so just drag the wheel, drop it in here, and now we can run checks. If the status says ready, we can go ahead and create the colliders. And if the status continues to say ready, we can create the wheels. So now we have the wheels and we're going to see it's popping in into the wrong section. Just going to go ahead and delete them. And I'm going to also delete them from the actual car. So the problem is that the car is a little bit wrong. So what I did is I referenced the wrong game object. So I'm just going to delete that, reference the right game object, drag and drop the wheel, now run checks, create colliders, create wheels. Okay, now we have the wheels right here and ready to go. So this is the parameters for the front wheels. We're going to see we can just move them around as much as we want to. We have the suspension distance and we have basically everything we need. So we're going to see we can't, we can't really push them all the way down. So what we're going to have to do is take the game, take, take the actual car and the car mass and just lift it up like this so now we can just position our wheels wherever we want we can just go in full screen like this and now we can just take our time position the wheels and if we actually select this we can see 
how big the wheels are. So we can just resize that to wherever we want. We can do the same thing for the rear wheels, position it, size it whatever we want. And you also want to keep the suspension distance kind of low. And then another party piece of this editor script is that you can use camber, as we can see in here. And this camber actually works in game. So I'm going to give it maximum camber, as we can see. We can give it camber for the rear wheels as well, like this. We can't add negative camber because I don't think it looks very good. We can add it like this. We can add it in here if we want to, but I don't think I like it very much. So I'm just going to add in a little bit of camber. I'm just going to position the wheel to where it looks reasonably well, like this. And there we go. Now we have our wheels ready to go. What we can do now is just completely close this tab and we can go back into our Unity window. So now, as we can see, we are missing the car controllers. So what we're going to do is go ahead and reference those into the scripts. So we can just grab car controller, inputs, wheels manager, and anti roll bars. So all you have to do right now is just go into the colliders, grab the first one, grab the second one, you're done in here. The car setup, you can just take it from here, just go copy component, paste component, and then play around with the values. I recommend using all wheel drive because it's a little bit more controllable. I recommend also keeping this torque curve relatively low like this. The next thing you need is a some kind of collider, body collider. You can just use a simple cube collider or box collider like this. Maybe shape it a little bit like this. So it acts as a body collider. And the last thing you need is this center of mass. Make sure this is very low somewhere in the middle of your car. So that is all you need for this to work. You can see the car is actually floating. Just lower it like this. And now if we try to hit play, we should see this car behaving like an actual car. So like this, we can see it's actually going sideways. And that is actually a good thing. I want to show you how you can fix that because that happens actually very occasionally. So the problem is that this box collider, he's not being set properly. One of the reasons that that could happen is because of this scale right here. So usually you want to keep this at one and then do this. So work with your editor like this, have your collider, something like this. Also, you want to make sure that your center of mass is not below, but somewhere in the middle of your car. And now, as we can see, our car is actually working. So you can obviously do this with any car. I've added a bunch of cars into the scene so you can play around. And I also went ahead and created a very simple map. And if you've been around my channel, you should already be familiar with this map. So this is how the game plays. It actually plays very nice. You can even go into 4K and it still runs very nice, even in 4K as we can see in here. But that's about it. I hope you liked this video. I hope you found it useful in any way. And thanks for watching. We'll be back with a new version of this package very soon.